All right, and part two of these organic gardening project. I guess I must have already just come up with a name for it. Now these, five days ago, I just went ahead and planted. Okay, so just to let you know, okay, these, these, all here, okay, all of these, black seeded Simpson lettuce. And then these six right here are gourmet leaf lettuce. All planted, these are non-GMO heirloom seeds which I had gotten from the seedguy.com and I will tell you one of these packets had a thousand seeds in them and then the other one had two thousand Seriously, we're talking $2.25 a pack and like 70 cents shipping. So for about $6, I have 3,000 non-GMO lettuce seeds here. Obviously, I don't need 3,000 heads of lettuce, um, but you never know. I actually did go ahead and put a couple of these little pots together for, uh, for the neighbor people because when you have excess, it's cool to try to give it away. And so that's what I did. And so I just planted these, seriously, five days ago. Middle of the day. It's not even five days because it is actually Tuesday morning right now. And as you can see, hoping that focuses in all right, that is uh, what is called a germinated seed. That's right. That is a technical gardening term that I have now learned and that little guy has sprouted and that guy has sprouted and what's actually interesting is see I have a grow light right now going on okay which I'm not gonna really get too much of on camera because that's kind of annoying however you can see that the the, the uh, germinated seeds are actually growing toward the light now this guy yesterday was actually going off in the other direction because this entire container had been turned around. Okay, so it's kind of interesting and I, I actually don't know if it's a good idea um, to kind of keep turning it around. I kind of almost think that it might not be a half bad idea to exercise the stem that way to help it produce strength, but I really don't know for sure. So I don't really want it to lean off in one direction too much. So I, like I said, I changed it figuring maybe Maybe it would work well, you know, to have it move around a little bit as it continues to chase the light source. We will see. This guy right here, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can tell. Let me see. This guy right here looks like, if you can see, if you can see the very bottom here, it's like it's, it's a little flat and then he's chasing the light. So I may end up going and turning this around before long possibly later in the day. And uh, those are all lettuce. And these little ones here, there's five of them. Um, tomato and basil, there's, there's another basil and bell peppers, okay? So this right here, which I noticed yesterday the, the seed was actually kind of sitting on top. I think it was because it kind of washed up to the surface from watering. So I replanted it and kind of packed it under there. That is from a red bell pepper that I had actually gotten from a produce stand down the street. So I've actually taken a lot of the seeds out of those peppers. They are non-GMO seeds from what I'm told. And you can, if you have the patience, you can take them out. And once the pepper is fully mature, you can take them out and you can rinse them and then dry them in a nice cool place and then store them. And so this uh, will be from one of those, assuming that it germinates properly, would be from one of those peppers. And then I do have another one around here somewhere. It's one of these. It's one of these guys from the same packet of seeds, which was Seeds of Change, which are uh, from the plants out there, if you can even see out. Okay. And then I don't know if you can tell, this is one of the Italian large leaf basil plants. And, uh, right there right there she germinated and that's very exciting to me to be honest with you so 
This is again, this is five days later and it's very possible that uh, sometime later on today I might see more germinated seeds. And uh, just to give you a heads up again, this is all organic soil which I had gotten actually from Kmart. Big bag of this stuff for like, I think it was $7 and change. And um, all these containers here, seriously, all of these, and I've got more in the garage. Those were all free. Seriously, they were all free. You know what I did is thanks to my husband, I called the local landfill and they were like, yeah, we've got containers. You can come pick up as many as you want. And there were, I want to say easily hundreds of them. So I picked what I needed and uh, I can always go and get more. But that really goes to show you that you really don't have to break the bank to try to start growing some of your own stuff. I mean, really, from the plants I uh, showed you outside, you know, that right there, that little bowl, used to carry bath products. And I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the most ideal thing because there's no drainage in it, but that used to carry bath products and it was a gift from my mother-in-law. Okay, it used up all the products, we had the bowl left over, so this is what we used it for. Okay, um, we already had that little basket and then these two with the spinach in them, uh, I'd say they were about six dollars and change each. Really a little more than I would prefer to spend, but you know, if you have to, you have to. It still really wasn't bad. I was able to fit about six to seven spinach plants in each, so that's really not bad. And then that giant container on the end, behind the chair there with the other pepper plant, okay, with the red. Okay, that was like two dollars and fifty cents at the thrift store. All right, and that's like a three pound, I want to, no, not a three pound, it's like a three gallon uh, bucket right there. So all in all, and then the fertilizer, I use um, Joby's fertilizer, they're like granules and they are organic and I think I paid about four or five dollars for that at Lowe's. So honestly, you really don't need a lot. You don't even need a lot of space. Um, I got lucky because now I live in a place where there is a lanai. However, like I said in the last video, I got started in a tiny little condo with no sunlight and very little room. I had used um, some of the bottom of the uh, emptied out water gallon containers from, from the grocery store and planted some stuff in that, those pepper plants. And then when it comes time, you just you just move them. So, but if you can work with what you have, if you, if you get to a place where you understand that anything that you can do to become a little more independent is a definite, definite step in the right direction. Because not only has it come to the surface that you can't really trust the food manufacturers and in a way it's too bad, but in a way it kind of just goes to show we've really become dependent on other people for our basic needs. You know, you can look at that and you can make a conscious and deliberate decision to start doing for thyself, which we were actually put on this planet to do, which was utilize the planet's resources in a way that doesn't harm anything or anyone and produce what you need for yourself. And if you have to start small, start small. You know, again, I had no experience and I did not have much of a budget to work with, but I worked with what I had, I made the decision, this was something I was going to do, and then um, God gave me more to work with. You know, first I said the universe, I'm just going to credit God because it was God. So, anyway, this is not, uh, this is not a religious video, but I did want to put all of that out there, and um, for those of you who are looking to get started in your own gardening, and uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I think I've showed you everything I want to show you, and I will follow up in a few days if there is uh, more productivity. And in the meantime, I thank you for watching, and take care.